Hey guys, this is a basic tutorial with Ani and Isabel. And my picture. Okay, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and open DSLR Remote Pro. Once you double click that, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this. It's gonna, it's gonna give you the evaluation copy for 15 days remaining. If you don't have the copy, you have to buy it. So for now, he doesn't have the copy, so we're gonna use it as evaluation. Okay, at this point right here, we're gonna start up with file and we're gonna use the wizard by clicking the wizard the wizard will automatically detect what kind of printer you have the paper size the orientation and the resolution okay it also will detect it also will give you an option to choose what kind of photo prints you want you want the classic double strip of four photos single strip of four photos one large photo of three smaller once below, double strip of three photos, single strip of three photos, two rows of two photos. Which one do you want to choose? This one? One large and three small. Ani wants to below. choose the one large photo with three small ones below. Okay, I'm going to hit next. Over here is the locations. It says here, please enter the name of the folder where the photo booth image will be stored. Right here, we we'll just put Jasmine. Say. and then we're gonna hit next it says here please select the photo booth options from the following list do you want your photo booth to have a uh, to use a touch screen yes so check that do you want your guests to, uh, to select black and white or colored prints check that because you want them to do that preview each photo after it is taken yes you want them to uh, preview that display the preview the print preview and ask for con confirmation before printing yes go ahead and check that also and then hit finish all done the photo booth image folder where screen and layout images are stored is right here it says user on a is the owner of this laptop under documents photo booth image jasmine kinse and then the photos taken today will be saved right here in the user documents photo booth images and this is the date okay it says here if you wanted to um it says here please select photo booth setting from a file menu if you wish to edit the settings so we're gonna hit okay basically we're done now we're just gonna go file full screen photo booth mode and that's basically your wizard right there. It's done. Okay?